Hey, how you doing? This is Sejin Hito here to bring you the news. So, um, YouTube has remonetized the platform after I um, reapplied. But still, I want to let you guys know if you want to support the platform, just in case anything like this happens again, you can do it by way of PayPal, Patreon, uh, Cash App, and also by um, the Anchor. And you can also further support the platform by way of going to the, uh, the Teespring store or um, the shoe store that is located in the comment section below. All right, one thing I, I just want to say before this video gets started, because the media, for some odd reason, they left this out. And you'll see that they left this out because I'm going to show you roughly everything that I have. And then you're going to see the uh, the media clips somewhere during um, this point of the video. The three people that you're going to see is Councilman uh, Lassiter of Garden City, Georgia, who confronted Bogotrev, who is the European male that you see in the middle, who spit directly on Andre Stewart due to the fact that he was making a U-turn in his business driveway, which is located in a residential street, meaning that Bogotrev's um, business is located amongst housing. Um, located amongst actual residents. It's not on a business street or anything like that. So this black man was simply making a U-turn. Bogotrev is going to state in the video that, oh, uh, well, you know, I he came here and I saw him just, you know, sitting in a in the driveway, acting like he was loitering. If that was the case, then he would have called the police and the police would have handled that issue. But obviously that was not the case because Bogotrev decided against calling um, the police. So then once the young man was about to leave, Bogotrev decided to come directly out and he started recording. The young man started recording and Bogotrev came directly, technically inside of the car and spit on the young man. So you're going to see everything that is, that transpired um, from the main video all the way through. So let's get to the video. This man here, here racist, here, racist bitch. right dude, racist right dude. Can you just spit on me? Yeah. You spit on me? Don't run. Fuck Don't run. Fuck Don't run. Fuck Don't run. You're on camera, motherfucker. You just, you just spit on me, ain't it? Get the fuck out of here. You just spit on me, ain't it? I told you, get the fuck out of here. You just spit on me, ain't it? What's your name? Fuck What's your name? You. What's your name? I'll go get my What's your name? Stay What's your right name? What you stand for? What's your name? Get my gun. Look, get your gun. He said, get his gun. What's your name? It's hit the head. It's tagged. It's tagged. Nigga, this spit on me, boy. You got life fucked up, boy. I'm about to iron this shit up, too, nigga. This boy spit on me. Oh, you just don't know you fucked up, right? You fucked up, right, boy? Garden City. This is not going unnotified. I'm out here right now at the location. I just got here and he just pulled up. I'm, 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 I'm alright. I don't need it. Garden City, we will take a stand against this. The social injustice, systematic racism, all this has got to stop. This will not go unnoticed. That's the man that spit in the guy's face yesterday. Now he's trying to act like he don't know what's going on. This is the guy that spit on the spit at the young guy yesterday. You spit at the young guy yesterday? Uh, the guy was trespassing. He's not trespassing. He was making the U-turn. Okay, I've been pictures of him over there. He was making the U-turn. Okay, that gives you no right to spit at nobody. Okay. That gives you no right to spit at nobody. Okay, I'm, now. I'm city council, brother. Okay, great. I'm city council. Richard Lassiter. Okay, great. I'm not yeah. bothering you. I'm on city property. And, and why are you arguing with me? I'm on city property. What, I'm on city property. We will take a stand against this. You have right. no right spitting at nobody. Okay. All right. Were you the one that called me cracker yesterday? No, I didn't. I, was, I just got out here. Okay, somebody did yesterday. Well, I don't care. All right, enjoy. We will take a stand against this. Against what? 
We will take a stand against this social injustice and systematic racism. You don't need to yell at me. I'm talking. I'm on live. What is the racism? You. You spit at a black man. That's racist. Oh, and it's disgusting. What does that mean? What do you mean what it means? What's so the implicit ignorance of yourself, you're telling me you don't know what racism is? I don't. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. I think that word is too big for you. No, it's too big for you. Right. If you don't know what it means. If you don't know what it means, then you shouldn't even be. Yeah. Look, oh my God. Oh my God. Don't worry about where I live. I could be a wherever I want. Great. You, you seem like you came to raise hell. Uh, yeah. Hell will be raised. Hell will be raised. It's enough of this. It's enough for this social and social justice and systematic racism. They think they can do what they want. They think they can say what they want, and nobody's going to stand up. If I have to stand alone, I'm going to stand. This man spit in this guy, a young man's face yesterday. I'm tired of it. Something got to be done. Garden City, Savannah, we got to stand up against situations like this. He got the right one. Play and you don't have the intellectual capacity. It is your opinion. Engage in it is your matter of opinion. That's not an opinion. You spit in someone's face. It's not an opinion. We had an altercation. We had an altercation. You and I have an altercation. That's why I was stealing his car. No, I can intervene. Yeah. We're not having a problem. Well, we got a problem. We definitely have a problem. He has the right to say whatever he has to say. We got a problem. No more than that gentleman had the right to say what he had. The young man had the right to say. What he think it's funny. He, he think everything's funny. He's still going to leave. Right. He is in the public office. But the man don't want nobody to drop him on the street. He ain't got nothing to do with that right there. He must be saying you real good. We got a concrete problem here. We can't have all kind of shit. What do you mean? What the hell you got there? We don't want to sit here. You don't want to sit here. Hey, you thought he was self. So what you trying to say? Y'all look alike. Cause that's what that sounded like. Cause you know damn well that ain't him. You, 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 you see, you're trying to right now. And you know, you know he knowing that he's staying in the house right there. You're gonna say for a second you can hear now. You're gonna say that he and I look alike. Right? You say you are just playing. You're ignorant. No, no. I'll you are you, just I'll playing. Tell you exactly. Are you going to shut that up for a minute? No. Hey, hey, hey. Stupid. What are you going to do to me? I guarantee you, I want to talk to him for a minute. But you're the one for crowd. I want to get rid of councilman. No, sir. But I'm the one you got to talk to. Police, don't get in the way. I'm the one you got to talk to. Let him get slapped down. From this point on, I'm the one you got to talk to. Oh, I got a judge to go. Oh, you're going to have a judge to go to. But believe you me. You're going to have to talk to Gary Monroe. Okay, Understand me. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Talk to me. Talk to me. Get on my face. Talk to me. What you going to do, spit at it? Okay. I tried to hear logical, coherent. You, 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 were, you wasn't logical yesterday. You wasn't logical yesterday when you spit in my brother's face. You didn't ask me a single question. You just think this thing that you didn't ask me a single question. I asked you a question. Are you telling the child that this father is back in the number two and two place? That's a state. That's a question. I'm sure. That's a right. state. Your wife. It's a good thing you don't. Your mother. That's a good thing you don't. Your mother proud of you? Go ahead, sir. Is your mother proud of you? Huh? He spat in somebody's face yesterday, Pierre. Oh, yeah, we're going to see you in court. Believe you me, the chance is not on us. Listen to me. The chance is not on us. The chance is on you. You had your chance yesterday. You guys call me crap. No, 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 no. Don't worry about that. Which one of Which one of you spat on a young man yesterday? Who spat on a young man? That's what's at question. Anybody calling you some type of epitome, that's not a crime. The only thing That's is, not a crime. I call the you a crime right now. The that took place don't yesterday in this area is you spitting on your children. What children? What, what children? Now, what children are you speaking of? Are you we speaking don't of do stupid children? stuff don't like, like you. Are you speaking of black children? He's, 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 he's insinuating black. No, 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 no. The one who you got working, the one who's standing next to you probably broke your damn way. You said he ain't racist because he fucking you? Don't fight him. Don't 
Hey, don't fight him. Let your anger and rage be. Hey, your boy call the police. Your boy call the police. Your boy call the police if you want the truth be told. He called. He called. You called today. You called today. Exactly, you called. So talk to your boy. This is public easement, stupid. And then you gonna tell that boy about you going to get your gun. You're in my grill. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know what the hell's going on. Come get in my grill. No, 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 no. Uh, grill? Is that what you want? Yeah. Is that grill? Is that what you just said? Tia said, go home, Butler. Nah, fuck that. We right down here by MR. There's the street right next to MR. The guy in the yellow shirt sped in a young man face yesterday. It's the, the street right down by MR, St. Joseph Avenue. You just talked about him. You don't know what you just said? You said the boy mama come down here. That child, he better be laying. In Garden City. According to a police report, it all happened Monday after the victim turned his car around in the man's driveway. WSAV News 3's Ricardo Lewis spoke with the victim who says this situation has damaged him mentally. This man here, here, right dude, racist right dude. Cell phone video captured by driver Andre Stewart shows the moment Dimitri Bogatrev spit in his face. Stewart spoke with News 3 Friday outside of Garden City City Hall where a group of people showed up to demand justice. It's upsetting. It's real upsetting. The report released by Garden City Police says Stewart was making a U-turn in Bogatrev's driveway. He then began to argue with Stewart as he was still in his car. That's when the unimaginable happened. I don't have no problem with no one. You know, I'm respectful. And as long as you respect me, I give you respect. The video goes on to show the two men confronting each other. Get my gun. Bogatrev was arrested and charged with simple battery. He was released the same day. Due to COVID-19, he was not transported to the Chatham County Jail, but will go to court in August. Andre's mom and sister say they're disturbed. I could have been burying my son, not, not standing here, but burying my son and looking over him. If he would have went in that got that gun. You put your saliva on somebody, that's, that is one of the most disgusting things that you could do to anybody. During a time of racial tension. But everything that's going on in this world today with racism, you know, it's, it's just, it hurts. Andre now wrestles with the thought that this could happen to anyone. It's damaged mentally. I better sleep. I got two daughters, you know. I gotta be strong for them. While Garden City Police continue to investigate, Stuart and his family say they only want one thing. Justice. That's how I like to say justice. Ricardo Lewis, WSAV News 3, on your side. The family says they're expecting to meet with a Garden City investigator to discuss pursuing additional charges. No word yet when that will happen. All right, so as we can see from the last video, which is the news report, which just came out today, which was recorded yesterday, you can see that the news neglected the fact that uh, the Garden City City Councilman, who is a black man, came out there to confront the man once. He didn't, there was no type of actual altercation that took place. There was no fighting. It was just an exchange of words. The second time he came out with the group, because you heard what he said in the video, he said, you got the right one today. And other things, because I had to shorten a lot of the clips because they were quite long. The city councilman said that you will be 
shut down and we will not stand for this because this is not what Garden City is about. This is what I mean when you have black people in power and they actually use their power for the people who are there, for the people who put them in office. This is a black man who obviously understands that regardless of whatever power that he has, at the end of the day, he is black. That at the end of the day, that this could have very easily been him and this could have very easily happened to him. And because he has all of that within him, because he understands the dynamic of America and how black men um, and women and children are seen, because he understands the climate in which we are in in America, he acted. He didn't wait. He, he didn't wait for the black people in that community of Garden City, Georgia, to sign a petition so he can act. He didn't wait for the uh, community in Garden City to start showing up at city council to start protesting. He didn't wait for the people at Garden City to find his actual home location, protest there and question him on why it is that he decided not to act on the information that is out here. He did it directly on his own and he did it by himself. This is the mark of a leader. This is the mark of an actual black leader. Like he said before in a video, I can stand by myself, but there is power in numbers. And that's exactly what he did. Those actions that he showed go beyond any type of words that I can use to describe the type of individual that this city council man is. And then next, we have the European male, correct? The, the, the Caucasian individual who thought that it would be in some type of favor or good light to spit on a black man for no reason. He wasn't assaulted. He didn't get pistol whipped. He didn't get beat up. He didn't get threatened. He didn't get cussed out. Uh, the young man didn't try to hit him with his car. He didn't try to hit him with a door. He didn't try to hit him with his. I I'm literally trying to use and name every single excuse that people could potentially use to try to give a right of way for the type of disgusting, heinous disrespect that you had to view within the first uh, couple of minutes of the video. Because realistically, there isn't one. There isn't. Even the people that normally troll this page and different things like that, I promise you, their reaction would have been violent. Regardless of whatever they would want to try to sit up there and say, that they would try to find a peaceful resolution just to try to <laughs> make them seem higher than thou, it's a complete lie. Because let this man, let this European Caucasian man have spit on their kids, have spit on their grandmother, have spit on any one of their family or their friends, or better yet, their dog. I promise you that those same individuals would have got out that car and unlike this black man, they would have gotten very, very violent. And we would have heard about this story possibly later on during the month because it would have been white on white crime because we already know how the news works. Now, to my knowledge, I'm not too uh, prevy, if, if that is the correct terminology, on the laws in Georgia, or better yet, in Garden City. So I'm not sure if spitting on someone is listed as assault. Using a bodily fluid is listed as assault. I am not sure. Now, when I first heard of the charges that he was getting, I was a little bit shocked, but then I had to realize, where do we live? America. Who's in control of it? White people. Who makes the laws? White people. And who is going to charge him? White people. So Behind all of that, even if one thing is a bit off and it has to do with somebody black, three out of four, it, it's going to be white. So very easily, he's going to have people that roughly look like him that are going to be on his side. This is why, yet again, he's not in jail. They use the whole excuse of like, well, we can't put him in jail due to uh, COVID-19. That's a lie because the people who sat up there and killed the, the, the officers, right, who killed some of the black people out here. Um, they were placed behind bars. They were given uh, high, you know, uh, bail mounts like uh, Derek Chauvin. I think his bail mount was 5.5 or $6.6 .6 million. So you can't say that you can't throw these people behind bars. But better yet, the reason that he was thrown behind bars 
and given a high bail amount is because they knew if they would have still allowed him out, some things might have taken place that they did not want to have taken place. So what better place to have him protected is amongst his own and in where his own people basically work, which is a jail system where they can actually watch out and look out for him. Right. So then next we have the young black man who obviously was spit on for no reason, Andre Stewart. Now, people are going to say, people are going to say, I already know some people are going to say, like, well, you know, if you're going to get out of the car, you might as well, you know, sit up there and do some. You might as well defend yourself and different things like that. I agree because 100% he was assaulted. This man was assaulted. If, if, if you can't see that this black man had every right to sit up there and defend himself if he chose to go that route you're obviously stupid there's nothing i can sit up there and do or or say um to bring any type of rationale into your illogical mind because this was clear point blank uh assault with bodily fluid but this young man decided to go you know a different route and you know he was probably in the fight or flight but he was like mentally trying to figure out what he was going to do. Now, I don't know this young man's background. I do know that he's working, um, you know, has a job that is on the line for him because I'm not sure how jobs are to come by for him at this moment of time or in that area. Um, In the actual, the raw footage of the interview, which I do have, which I'll probably, you know, upload um, at a, a, a different point in time or I upload it to Anchor or somewhere else, you can hear what it is that, you know, he's saying, what he's trying to uh, convey. So I'll re-listen to that footage again and I will try to, you know, break that down as easy as possible due to the fact that there was a lot of wind um, going on because it was recorded by cell phone. So yes, I already know that a lot of people are going to disagree about the actions Um, that he took but somebody else brought up a very good point somebody said that there's no reason in a sense for him to yet again allow him or another black man to be thrown willingly into the jail and or prison system and yes i do understand because you heard me say it a lot you're damned if you do damned if you don't which is true But as I said before, everybody has to make their own decisions when it comes to these types of scenarios because it's it's very easy for us to sit up there and judge. It's very easy for me to sit up there and judge other black people in the actions that they do due to the fact that I'm not in these circumstances, right? Right? So, like I said, I think for a lot of this, we need to sit up there and like relax because it's not us, right? Nor do I want this to be y'all at all. So, like I said, this young man, at the end of the day, he's still going to be able to pay his bills. He's still going to sit up there and have his job. He's getting the exposure that he needed. And for for, for damn sure, a city councilman came out and supported him 100% without him having to ask. That should say something, um, in in a sense, by the, the way that this young man carried himself. That should basically tell you a lot by the actions that you are seeing taking place right now. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this video and everything that I listed in the comment description below. And as always, peace, love, and stay tuned for the next video.